Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, because of lockdown, we're just going to let it go and have a bit of an indoor picnic and a bit of a movie while we eat it. So I'm going to start off by making mine and my dad's sandwiches. My mum is going to make hers, um, which she's already done, I think. No, I don't think she has actually. But anyway, I'm going to start off by making my sandwich, which is going to be a, just a regular good old cheese sandwich. And I'm just going to use some regular old Warden Warburton bread. So, I'm going to get a slice of that and I'm just going to go get a knife. Okay. Now for my sandwich, I need um, the one with a bit of a sharper edge. So I'm just going to cut this slice of bread in half, like that. The crusts are a bit tougher to cut in half, but I love the crusts. They're so tasty, so that's why I'm having that. And I'm just going to add some cheese on top of it. This is just regular medium cheddar. And basically, that's my favourite cheese. I don't really like any other cheese. And then I'm going to cut the sandwich in half, like that. And it does, it is a bit tough to cut um, heels in half, like I said, or crusts, whatever you want to call it, but you'll get there eventually. But the best way to do it is take the top half off, cut that in half because then the cheese is not actually in there and kind of just rip it apart. And then you may as well just put the cheese on afterwards. So if I take my cheese off, I can do the same. And then I can just get a bit of cheese on each sandwich. So I'll probably put a bit on both and then fold it and then the same with the other sandwich put the rest of the cheese on and fold it over so there I have my sandwich so yes just to keep it together I'm just going to add one little toothpick between both of them if I can fit between both of them I'm not sure if it'll be uh, long enough well it seems to be so I've got my sandwich, and then I'm going to get two more slices of bread and make my dad's sandwich, which is going to be cheese and salad cream, so if I just put that over there. So, for his sandwich, I'm going to put the cheese on one slice of bread, and then squirt the salad cream on the other slice of bread. And all I'm going to do is squirt the salad cream, I might need a bit more than that, and get a rounder edge knife and just spread it on the sandwich. Because I made my grandma's sandwich yesterday, well, and um, it included salad cream, and this is how I made it. It might not have been my grandma's actually, I think it was someone else's. But yeah, I've got my salad cream on there. And then all I have to do is flip that over. And then all I'm going to do is cut it in half. Not with that knife though, with this knife. And it should work. You might get a bit of salad creamy hands, but you keep trying. Never give up when it comes to making food. And there we have it. Two pretty soggy sandwiches, but they'll, they'll, they'll do. So I have those sandwiches there, and I'm just going to go get a little wipe. Right. Now I'll wipe my hands on a tissue and a wipe. So I'm going to get another food pick and um, just to make sure 
his sandwich stays together as well. So now the sandwiches are all done and dusted. I'm going to put the salad, cre the salad cream knives in the bin. Uh, sorry, not in the bin, the sink. Okay, moving on to the next part of the lunch, and I'm just going to move this over here, just so um, the um, the um, have room for the sandwich. Now I'm going to make some Scotch egg and mini sausages skewers, and I'm going to obviously use my little food picks for this. And yeah, I think it's just going to look so fun. And they're going to go in the bottom of this but binners i don't think this is the cleanest box we have already decided that decided that we're going to add just one piece of kitchen roll to the bottom of this box just so it can sit on something so i'm going to pop this over here and i'm going to start making our sausage and scotch egg um skewers so basically these are just cocktail sausages, mini ones, and there's 20 in this pack, and then for the scotch eggs there's 12, and they're called little mini picnic eggs, I think, for sausages, let's try one. So then, you want to get your scotch eggs, or mini picnic eggs, I think you call them. I think the scotch eggs are the big ones. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to wipe my hands. My hands feel a bit greasy because um, I can't get them open. So, um, ah, here we go, finally. The moment of truth. We finally got the eggs open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by sliding on a cocktail sausage. Then I'm going to slide one of these eggs on. And if you can fit one another sausage on the end, that will be good. And there you have a really easy skewer, so I'm just going to add these to the box and these are just going to be so delicious I definitely recommend these especially if you're going on a picnic or these will be good for a party as well so I'm probably going to make about I know eight of these or something but you seem to be only able to fit a scotch egg and a sausage on each one so a bit disappointing but never mind so, I'm just going to keep alternating the sausage and the egg and pop them into the little box. Now this may seem a bit messy but it's not too messy. And yep, yeah, I'm just going to make about only about eight of these because there is only three of us, me, my mum and my dad. So we won't need, like, too many. And I, I just think these are going to be really delicious. And I thought it would just be really fun to add them to this skewer. I mean, we can always make some more. This time I'm just going to add the egg, then the sausage. And then I just need to make two more. And you can make these with just sausages if you wanted to, or just eggs. And this I think might fit actually to two, two sausages. And that. And then the last one. And on the packet it says they're called egg bites. Okay. So now I've got eight of these lovely, delicious um, picnic egg and sausage skewers. I'm going to put these to a side. 
I've just put my crumbs to a side and I'm going to get the lid on top of these and I'm going to go stick these in the fridge after I've made all these video. Okay, so I'm now going to get some mango for the fruit and I'm going to get a couple of blue silicone liners and this is for me. I'm just going to add some chunks of mango in each of these. I really do love mango. Um, so yeah, I'm glad um, we got this fruit. I'm just going to get as many in each little cup as I can fit because these are so delicious and I just love mango whether it's in chunks or slices or yeah. So I've got some cute little bits of mango there and I'm just going to add a little food bit into each just so I can eat them with. So I've got a little monkey in one. I'm going to add this cute cat in another and then you can just get the mango and eat it off that. Obviously I've not had any of them. It may look like I have but I've not. So we've got the mango and then for a little sweet treat, this is for me, my mum, I told her to get a surprise sweet treat and I've been wanting these for a couple of days and it's Barney Bears, I've not had these for ages. And I know they're for little kids, but I love them. And they're in the milk flavour. So, pretty good. I really like this. So now I've got my um, mango, my barney bear, and I have obviously got my skewers and then the sandwiches. And that's just about it. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because we are, at my school we're now on summer break and I'm going to be uploading way more because we'll be going on lots of different trips and stuff. Obviously there's restrictions because you can't go everywhere at the minute because of coronavirus. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!